I'm gonna do this. I can go out of the world and handle whatever comes my way because I know when I come home, that is what's gonna continue to be my fuel. We step forward, we're ready no matter what. Look good, feel good, do good. That all relates to the mental aspect, the emotional aspect, and ultimately the physical. Ever since she failed to step a foot in Tokyo to represent the country at the 2020 Olympics, Shakari Richardson has been a strong proponent of the importance of mental health, along with the physical aspect. It should go hand in hand, she believes. Knowing and living by this rule appears to be working so far, seeing that she has been steadily climbing her way to the top of the sport. As a matter of fact, Shakari is currently the world number one in the 100-meter rankings ahead of the Paris Olympics. The rank list is published by World Athletics and is updated every Wednesday. Just so you know, the world rankings are calculated based on a system developed by World Athletics. This system includes assigning athletes a result score and placing score every time they compete in a calendar event, and the total of the two makes up the performance score, which in turn is used to calculate the rankings. All that said, with a total performance score of 1476, Richardson ranks first in the women's 100 meter. Closely behind the American in the rankings is Sharika Jackson, with a score of 1462. Rounding out the top five behind the two top sprinters are Marie Jose Talu Smith, Julian Alfred, and Ewa Swoboda. Those who have been following Shakari's progress are aware that she has ventured out into the 100 meter four times this year and has been victorious each time. Her season opener for the event was the Prefontaine Classic, where she clocked a 10.83 for the win. Shakari Richardson next competed in the heats, semis, and finals of the U.S. Olympic trials, winning each round with ease. Her outing in the finals saw her stop the clock at 10.71, setting a new world lead for 2024. Her next 100-meter race would be in Paris. Now, the question is whether she will remain the fastest in the distance this year after the Olympics. Although she is a strong favorite to win gold, she will be running against the world's finest, including two Jamaican track stars, Sharika Jackson and Shelly Ann Fraser-Price. As you all know, Jackson and Fraser-Price are legends of the sprinting world, and both boast an impressive resume at the games. Jackson, who began her career as a 400-meter runner, shifted to the shorter distances in 2021 and has gone on to claim an Olympic bronze, two World Championship silvers, and a Diamond League trophy in the 100 meter. Fraser Price, on the other hand, is an equal threat to Shakari Richardson at the Games. The Jamaican is widely considered to be one of the greatest sprinters of all time and has medaled in the 100 meter distance at four consecutive Olympic Games. In 2008 and 2012, Fraser Price walked out of Beijing and London with a gold while she took a bronze and silver in the distance in 2016 and 2020, respectively. The 37-year-old is also a five-time 100-meter world champion. While this is a remarkable feat in and of itself, when it comes to the head-to-head -head stats between her and Richardson, the American has the upper hand, having finished ahead of her in four of the seven times the two were involved in the same. The first three times that went against each other was at the 2019 Prefontaine Classic and the heats as well as the finals of the 2021 Muller Grand Prix. And yes, Shakari emerged victorious each time. While Shelly Ann managed to win the next three races, the last time they competed, she was back to watching the Americans back, literally. During the 2023 World Championships in Budapest, Richardson took gold and Fraser Price settled for bronze. What's more, the American sprint sensation can outrun the 200-meter world champion too. She did, after all, outran Sharika Jackson at last year's world championships, where she claimed the 100-meter world champion. Granted, both Shakari Richardson and Sharika Jackson are two of the fastest sprinters in the world at the moment, but it is Shakari who is leading the 2024 charts with a time of 10.71 S. The Jamaican is fifth fastest this season, with a time of 10.84 S. The two are set for one of the most exciting battles in track and field at the Paris Olympics. The Paris Olympics isn't the only big thing happening in her life right now. Truth be told, she is having a big month. She just starred in Netflix's Sprint docuseries, became Vogue's August 2024 digital cover star, 
and is heading to Paris in a few short weeks to compete in the 2024 Olympic Games. The athlete is ready for a comeback, and she mentioned in her Vogue interview that her grandma, Betty Harp, has been a huge support in getting her to this point. Her grandmother, whom she affectionately calls Big Mama, describes her as tough. I made her tough, Betty told Vogue. I'm a strong woman, I've overcome obstacles in my life. So I knew what I was talking about when, from time to time, things got hard and she'd want to quit. I'd say, don't start nothing and don't finish it. You start, you finish. For her part, Shakari has embraced that mentality, telling the publication that she shows up to practice rain or shine, even attending mere hours after undergoing emergency dental work. You keep showing up no matter what, she said. Most people, they only think of track every four years. The Olympics, that's all there is, those few seconds on TV. But for me, track is my life on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything I do, what I eat, what I drink, if I stay up too late, it's all reflected on the track. Every choice, that's what the world doesn't see. While the 24-year-old has an arsenal of fans, her family has repeatedly been front and center cheering her on. Throughout the years, Shakari has paid it forward to the two women that raised her, her grandmother Betty and her aunt Shay. The sacrifices and the support they've given me just over my lifetime, to be able to sit in that moment with them, she admitted, I feel like that was the greatest moment for me. For her, it starts and ends with family. As a matter of fact, a young Shakari was always fascinated by the medals hanging on her grandmother's walls. Those accolades were gained by her aunt, Shay, a track and field athlete with whom she frequently competed. Even though Shay was up against a child, she never let Shakari win, preferring to beat her with her own speed. One day, when Shakari was in fifth grade, she remembered crossing her aunt and touching her big mama's car first to win the race. At that point, she realized her secret track ability, and with consistent preparation, she developed into the athlete we know today. Through her fans and family's support, she is driven to achieve her Olympic gold dreams. The fast-becoming sprint sensation now feels like she's come into her own, both on and off the track. I'm better at being Shakari, she told Vogue. As the Paris games approach, Richardson has been repeating the mantra, I'm not back, I'm better, in her public commentary. I don't just mean I'm a better runner, it's beyond that. I'm better at being Shakari, I'm better at being myself. She said she keeps cool under pressure on the track by fixating on the present. She claimed, If all I'm doing is looking ahead, then I can't be where I need to be, which is here, now. While it's very important for athletes to focus on the now instead of past disappointments or expectations for the future, both will only bring forth unnecessary pressure, as if they aren't feeling enough of it already. So Shakori's goal of focusing in the now, in the moment, is completely logical. But will she be able to do that in Paris? Watch this to see who else will be trying their luck at the France capital 